Hello friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to use our Suzette Increase and Suzette Decrease to make a keyhole scarf. I love this little scarf. It's so cute. And it's really fast, really easy, and it'd be great as I know everybody's starting to work on Christmas stuff. And it's going to get cold. I know it's hot right now, but it's going to get cold really fast in some places. So let's get started. Alright, and I'm using Karen Skinny Cakes. It's a three weight to just a four millimeter hook, but I'm using a six today. This is my Susan Bates. Susan Bates six millimeter hook because like, I like it to be nice and flowy. So we'll just start out with a slip knot and chain 12. And 11 and 12. Now we have a nice little chain of 12. Turn over our chain and find all of these little back bumps. We're just going to single crochet all the way down in these little back bumps for 11 single crochets. Takes a little bit longer to find those back bumps sometimes, but it makes such a nice finished edge that I just need to go with that, especially since there's only 11 stitches in this beginning. Easy peasy. Three. And there's my last one, number 11. So we just started right here. Just 11. It's really skinny. But with our increases, it's going to end up being much wider. And then we will decrease on the other side. So I'm just going to show you the, the overview. We're not going to make a whole scarf because that would take a couple of hours. So I'm going to show you the overview and tell you how I do it. So that was row 1. Row 2 through 11 is just a normal Suzette. So it's chain one, turn your work, single crochet, and a double crochet in your very first stitch. And a skip, single and a double in the next stitch. That will be your third stitch. And skip, single, and a double. Skip. Single. And a double. In the same stitch. Skip. Single. And a double. And now our two last stitches. There's one here and one right here. Skip. And our very last stitch in a normal Suzette row is a single crochet only. This thing just gives a little bit of a texture. It's fun to look at. It's really cute. It looks a little bit braided, but it's not a complicated. It's even, it's even super easy for a beginner to do a Suzette stitch. I think that's why I love it so much. It's one of the first things I learned how to do a long, long time ago. So again, that was 2 through 11. So 10 rows of normal Suzette. And then the very last stitch is always a single crochet only in a normal Suzette. So there's a general idea. I'm not going to do 10 rows of that. I just did two. So now we get to increase both sides. So where we are generally in this piece, we're going to go right here. We're going to increase both sides. So you chain one. And in the very first stitch to increase, we're going to do a single and a double like normal. And we're also going to sneak in one extra single crochet. So there's half of our added stitch right there. So you have three stitches in our very first, in our very first stitch here. So it was a single, a double, and a single. We're going to skip like normal. And we're going to finish that half a stitch. So there's a double crochet. And in that same stitch, do a normal Suzette. So with a single and a double. So there was our increase. And we're going to single and double. Suzette across. And we're going to increase on the other side as well. So let's just do a normal Suzette all the way across until you get to the end. Single and a double. Alright, we're at our last two stitches. 
that goes pretty fast. Last two stitches, one, two, skip the stitch, and our very last stitch normally would be a single crochet only, but we need to add a stitch. So we're going to do a double. So there's our sneaky new stitch. We just added a single and a double, and now we're going to do our ending single crochet only. See how quickly that got wider? Gets really wide really fast. So that was our increase row. Now our chain one, turn our work, and the next 10 rows are just a normal Suzette. No increasing, 10 rows worth of straight out Suzette stitch. Single and a double with a skip in between, and our very last stitch is a single crochet only, 10 rows. Here's our first 10. Increase here, normal. We're going to increase again. After a 10 normal, regular row Suzette stitches, chain one and turn our work, and we're going to increase one more time. So again, that was in our very first stitch. We're going to do a single and a double. And a single, there's half of our new stitch. Skip one, finish that new stitch with the double crochet, and now in that same place we're going to do a single and a double for a normal Suzette. And then Suzette across. Just keep going with our Suzette stitch all the way across as we increase in the very last stitch. We have two stitches left. Skip one, go to the last stitch, and we'll do, we're adding a stitch right now with a single and a double. And also in that same stitch is our final single crochet only. So it's starting to fan out. Fans out very quickly. And then again, of course, chain one, turn your work. Ten rows worth of standard, regular old Suzette. I am not doing ten. I'm just going to do a couple here to give you the idea. Right After you do your ten rows of normal Suzette, we are going to increase one more time. Single and a double and a single, so that's half of our new stitch. Skip one and the other and the third stitch will be finish our new stitch with a double crochet and in that same stitch is a single and a double. Continue the normal Suzette all the way across. And we're at our last two stitches. Skip one and our last stitch we are going to add a Suzette, so there's a single and a double. And then also our very last stitch is a single crochet only. See how quickly that keeps getting wider and wider. Now we're up to 23 stitches wide from 11. That went really fast. So now we're getting closer to being able to do our keyhole. So we've done all of this. We're getting very close to the keyhole place. So after we do that increase, we are now up to 23 stitches. We want to do 10 more rows of standard, normal, regular old Suzette. 10 more rows. I am not doing 10. giving you the truncated version here. And whoopsie, I think I just told you, 10 rows. In between our last increase and our keyhole is actually 20 rows right here. You can tell that's way bigger than down here with these. This is 10. This is 20. So 20 rows. And now we're going to get to our keyhole. So it's, it would be about 
22 inches or so long by the time you get to right here. So we chain one, turn our work, and do one Suzette. There's two stitches. Skip. There's another Suzette. And skip. And then this fifth stitch, just a single crochet. We worked five stitches here. A Suzette, a Suzette, and then a single crochet. Now we're going to chain 13. One, two, and 13. Chain 13. So on this other end, we want to find our last five stitches. One, two, three, four, and in this stitch we want to do a Suzette, which is a single, and a double. Skip one, another Suzette, single, and a double. And our, skip one, and our very last stitch is a single crochet only. We worked five on this side, five on this side, and 13 chains in between. So now we're going to Suzette all the way across. In these normal stitches here are five on each side and plus all the way around this chain. So we're going to single and a double, and a skip, single, and a double, and a skip, and a single only in here. We want to finish that Suzette stitch around our chain of 13. Now we'll do a single and a double. Continue our Suzette, but we're going to work around the chain this time. For a total of 13 around the chain. We do our last five stitches. The first one gets a single and a double, and a skip, a single, and a double, and a skip, and our very last stitch is a single crochet only. So what we did was just the top of our keyhole right here. So now just stop and count and make sure that you have 23 stitches. One, two, three. One, two, and 23. So we just worked that. We are going to do the middle of our scarf. All of this. So that is 100 rows of normal Suzette. 23 wide is not going to take you very long, even though it sounds like a lot. It's only 23 stitches wide. So there was the first row of normal Suzette after we worked around our chain, just to bring everything back to normal. We're going to do that for 100 rows. I'm not going to do 100. I'm just going to do one more row, and then we get to do the other side of our scarf, which generally is a match to our first side, but instead of increases, we're going to do decreases. So what we did here was all of this in between. All of this from the keyhole all the way down to here, all the way down through here, and now we're going to start to decrease. So you're almost done. Not very much left at all. So these were all th 23 across. Now you've done 100 rows of that. Chain one and turn our work. 23 across. We're going to reduce. If you haven't seen my tutorial, I think you should look at it now. But here we go. This is a decrease of our Suzette. First stitch is a single crochet only, and we're going to skip. The third stitch is a double crochet only, and then skip, and then continue on doing traditional, normal, regular old Suzettes. 
until you have six stitches left that are unworked in this row. And I have six stitches left and a decrease here is a skip, a single crochet, a skip, double crochet, a skip, and just like every other row, row is a single crochet only. So now we just decreased it down to 19 stitches. Did a decrease on both sides. Now we're going to chain one turn our work and 10 rows of normal to that. All right, after you've done your 10 rows of normal Suzette with 19 stitches across, we're going to reduce again. Chain one, turn our work. Single crochet, skip one, double crochet, skip, and do a normal Suzette across until you have six stitches left that are unworked. Our last six stitches that haven't been worked, skip, single crochet, skip, double crochet, skip, and our very last stitch, just like every other row, single crochet only. Now we just decrease down to 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Just decreased down to 15. And you probably can guess by now. Chain one, turn your work, 10 rows of traditional normal Suzette. Now you've worked 10 rows of traditional Suzette at 15 stitches all the way across. Chain one, turn your work. We are going to reduce one more time from 15 down to 11. So our first stitch is a single crochet, skip, double crochet, skip, and a traditional all the way across until you have six stitches left that are unworked. Which at this point goes pretty fast. I have six stitches that aren't worked, so we'll skip, single, skip, double, skip, and just like every other row, single crochet only in the very last stitch. Now we're down to 11 stitches, which is where we started in the first place, back here. Chain one, turn your work, 10 rows of 11 stitches all the way across of a normal Suzette. All right, so after you've done 10 rows, 10 rows of standard, normal, traditional Suzette with 11 stitches across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11, just like we started. Our very last row is just a row of single crochet. 11 single crochets, one in every stitch. Two, three, ten, and eleven. And now just finish off. Started with the with kind of the mulberry color here. And we ended with the peach. There is a keyhole right here. So we get to go like this. Isn't that easy? So now that you know how to do a Suzette decrease and an increase, you can make all kinds of fun things. Doesn't have to be a square anymore. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks. Tell all your friends about me and stop back real soon. Thanks. Bye.